Tonight, we start with a son in jail accused of killing his own mother. Andrew Beavers faces first and second degree murder for the death of Juanita Coyle Pile. Thanks for joining us tonight right here on the q and I'm Larry Miller in for Adam Longo. We were first to tell you that Juanita was found dead outside of her Anne Arundel County home more than a week ago, but her car was located in Loudoun County, and that's where we find our Matthew Torres live for us tonight. Matthew, what's the latest developments on this investigation? Well, Larry, her son has been here at this jail since Saturday, extra, uh, waiving his extradition this morning, which means any day now he should be sent back to Anne Arundel County, where more than a week ago, police say he killed his mother with some sort of edged weapon and hit her body. Tonight, 23 year old Andrew Beavers remains in the Loudoun County Jail accused of killing his own mother. He will face charges of first and second degree murder in Anne Arundel County, where police found the body of 58 year old Juanita Coyle Pile more than a week ago. The victim's biological son's DNA was on our murder weapon as well as the victim's. Police arrested him on Thomas Mill Road in Leesburg on Saturday after detectives tracked down his mother's car taken from her home all the way in Loudoun County. They say Beavers was the one behind the wheel. They also found the victim's biological son who was suffering from a fresh cut on his right hand. Um, that sparked the interest of our homicide detectives for various reasons. Police say Beavers was living with his mother at their waterfront property in Tracy's Landing. Her boyfriend first reported her missing after finding blood inside the house. Officers responded and located her body outside the home with multiple sharp force wounds. It, it, it's still hard to believe that this that she is no longer here. Friends like Lynn Lane are still grappling with the shock. She's declining to speak about the suspect out of respect for Cole Palais family, but as a friend of more than 15 years. She was brave, bold, incredibly strong, intelligent. She has nothing but glowing things to say. Extraordinary. Coyle Pillay lived in the Waterford community in Loudoun County for many years, where she was an accomplished cybersecurity expert and businesswoman. Known for her parties, smile, and brilliant mind, Lane says she always supported women to find their success and true happiness. Just someone who was so full of life, who celebrated just every, everything. She loved life. She was a ride or die type of friend. That was Juanita. And she says she and her friends are hoping to put together some type of event in honor of Coil Pile, but admits it's just too hard to process right now. Larry. Matthew, what exactly are we learning about the motive for this investigation? Why do police specifically believe that the son was responsible? Well, it's a good question and something detectives hopefully they'll find out more as soon as he is extradited back to Anne Arundel County. In the meantime, though, we did ask police a little bit more about that murder weapon. They are not revealing any more information as well. We asked if uh, they've actually responded to this home in Tracy's Landing in the past before. And at least so far, they said there have not been any incidents at that particular home. Larry.